we treat a lot of slab homes. There are different types of slab construction. There's a monolithic slab, supported slab, and a floating slab. Sometimes they're very confusing to the naked eye, and there's certain things we need to look for. For example, this house we're at here, apparently, to the naked eye, would look like a monolithic slab, which means mean a continuous pour slab foundation. But upon closer inspection, you can tell here at the bottom, it was already drilled before. You can see the slab foundation where it was drilled. Now, this area here, I'm going to zoom in a little closer. Actually, what they've done, they put a skim coat of cement over the edge to make it look like a slab, a solid slab. But as we come around the corner, you'll be able to tell that's actually hollow block construction. And that hollow block construction identifies that that is a floating slab, along with some other things that you look for as I pull away. The windows, the windows in a floating slab construction home are recessed much further back than a regular monolithic slab. As you can tell, this window here is recessed back on that brick. So is this window here. And as are the windows around the entire structure. And if you go back down to the slab down here, again, you can tell where it was treated once before, but again, you can see the hollow block construction that's underneath the actual brick. That creating a floating slab, meaning we have to do drilling from the exterior to get underneath there, and also some interior drilling. Those are some of the biggest challenges we deal with when it comes to slab homes, particularly to be able to identify the difference between a floating slab, a monolithic slab, and a supported slab. Some of the challenges in our field. Always know what you're dealing with so you can treat the property properly.